Hello, welcome to week 33. The week starts just flying by. Um, and I always have to check what week it is, and I'm still like surprised that I'm in like the 30s. <laughs> Um, it was a good week last week. I am down 1.8 pounds and down 66.8 pounds overall. I am 0.2 away from the next decade. I think I told y'all like two weeks ago now that by June 15, which is now three days away, I want it to be to the next decade. I am 0.2 pounds away from the next decade. So... Fingers crossed, I can do this random, meaningless scale victory. I mean, there's always like, let's talk about non-scale victories, but then it's like, no, sometimes you need the scale victory too. <laughs> so, um, hopefully I'll get there. So by week 34 or next week, I will hopefully be in a new decade. Um, what's really annoying is I have a digital scale and when I step on it, like, for a few, not a few seconds, like less than that, like the new decade is there. And I'm like, is it, is it happening? Um, and then it settles on, you know, what it was today. Um, <laughs> so it's coming, it's coming. I'm just trying to get there to the next one. Um, yesterday was Tuesday and, um, on my Instagram, which is Lisa underscore D E P. Um, I decided to do a Transformation Tuesday photo, um, and so I put up my before and current photos, and, um, I was really surprised by the reaction, mostly because, uh, I haven't done too many Instagram posts, like, I've been doing a lot of stories, and most of the stories are just, like, random, like, funny observations, <laughs> and, um, photos from the, from the shelter. So from the dog shelter where I volunteer. And so I put, it was funny cause I saw Grace gets gastric does it, did it. And I noticed she put, um, her name on the photo. And I remember reading like a while back that people steal before and after photos and use them for, you know, whatever stupid tea or detox or wrap or whatever. Um, they steal these photos and I figured that's probably why she did it. So I did mine that way. I just put my name across, you know, the middle. Um, and it, I put it up and then like, right when I put it up, I was, I like commented something like FYI, I'll probably delete this in like an hour. Well, I put it up right before I went to bed. Um, so it was up, you know, all night and I probably got maybe 40 comments and 150 likes, like, which for me, because I'm a big Twitter person, I'm not really an Instagram person. I probably only have like 500 followers on Instagram versus Twitter. I have, you know, 14,000, um, which in like YouTube world is nothing, but, <laughs> um, it's, it's good, to, good to me. Um, so I got like quite a lot of, um, attention and, um, I dug it down. Um, and the reason why, which is like to most outside people, like the dumbest reason, um, or at least that's what they tell me when people, a couple people ask why I took it down is I don't want people to think that I think I'm done. Like, I know I'm not done, you know? Um, like, I know I have not fully transformed. Like, I'm still in the cocoon. I have not come out as the butterfly just yet. Um, and I think that's what, that's the main reason. Um, because if you look at, like, a height and weight chart, you know, I'm still 100 pounds, give or take, from, you know, someone my height, which, you know, I'm pretty short. I'm, like, 5'4", although people who... Or 5'4", tell me I'm not 5'4". So maybe I'm 5'3". I don't know. Um, you know, I, I I think, like, my height, it's like 115 to 130. Um, I want to say is, like, the normal weight. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the number seems so unattainable. Like, 
that's what I weighed in like elementary school. So I don't even know. And I'm not that much taller than I was in elementary school. Um, this is really distracting. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's like one of those weird things where, you know, people talk about it on their weight loss journey, like graduating from obese to overweight. So I have not graduated yet. And, you know, I don't really feel comfortable saying like that I'm happy with where I am. I'm happy with my progress, but I'm not happy with where I am. And that's not necessarily something that I wanted to put in a post. Um, cause I don't want to invite, you know, more people. Cause I mean, there are people that are positive and saying, Oh, you're beautiful in both pictures. And yeah, I mean, I get that, you know, we're all beautiful, blah, 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 blah. Um, but you know, for me, the point is to get to a healthy weight and, um, you know, I didn't want to play that game of where people are giving compliments and, you know, people thinking like, I'm like, Oh no, no, no. But really, yeah, 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 yeah. Give it to me. Um, so I just deleted it. I mean, it's like, <laughs> you know, that, that meme, like feeling cute may delete later. It's sort of like feeling skinny may delete later. <laughs> So it was up for, I think, around eight hours. Um, and so I took it down. Um, and I'm sure I'll do it again. You know, I'll post another one, maybe when I hit like the 100 pound mark, um, which I'm hoping will be before my one year anniversary of my surgery, my surgery anniversary. Um, that's October 29, which is about four and a half months away. Um, so that's a little less than 10 pounds a month. So, I mean, it could be difficult, but, um, you know, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for it. What else? Um, I have a friend coming in town this weekend who I have not seen since June of last year, which was well before my surgery and was well before I even decided I wanted to have surgery. Um, but you know, they've seen photos and things. So, um, like in a way, like I'm excited to see someone I haven't seen in a while to see like their reaction. Um, but I also think like when I see, I mean, I guess that's probably the other reason with why I took down the photo is it was like a bathroom selfie, you know, just taking a photo in the mirror, which is, has always like looked good. Like, I feel like when I look in this mirror, like I don't feel like I look that much different than when I took a good photo before, except for, for some reason I never took that many photos. Um, so maybe I didn't look that great. Um, but then I feel like, okay, this is like a mirror trick. This is not what you really look like. So don't put this photo, don't keep this photo up because then if someone sees you, they're going to be like super disappointed because not, they wouldn't be disappointed. They, I mean, cause they're just like friends and stuff and family, but just think, oh, I thought you looked different. Um, and part of that, it, like, this is not coming out of nowhere. I mean, this has been my real life, like, where I've literally had people say that. Like, oh, I thought you would lost more. I thought it would look like you had lost more and, you know, that kind of thing. And not this time around, but more before, like, with the lap band and, and just with other times in my life. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I look like the mirror photos. And, you know, they're taken from... Um, I'm, I'm not doing, like, the, the this angle. Ugh. The this, you know, the angle where you're looking up and, and that sort of thing. It's, you know, holding the phone like this in front of the mirror. Um, you know, basically from, like, a little above the knee up. Um, so I'm getting, like, my midriff and all of that. But, you know, it's... I don't know. It's hard because people, um, I think don't like they're comparing you to before. I'm, com I'm not, I'm comparing myself to the scale and I know I'm still in the obese category. Um, but I'm sure like most people wouldn't say that. And I don't know if it's because they're being nice or just cause they don't know the numbers. Um, but anyway, I'm like also like a way overthinker. 
Um, so next week I'll have an update for you, or hopefully I'll be in another decade. Um, I'll find out that my friend um, had no different expectations <laughs> than I'm like putting in my head, and um, hopefully all will be well. I feel like I don't talk about the food part of this as much as I should. I actually just happened to watch Mini Me in Tennessee. She's three years post-op, and she just posted a video, Do I Still Dump? Um, and I thought that was that was interesting um, because she said it takes a lot to for her to dump now. And um, it's partly, I think, um, that her diet has changed which she says, and I also kind of wonder what she didn't go too much into, but partly because um, maybe the tolerance has gotten better. Um, I don't dump very often, probably as far as like when I first started, the, the feeling lasts a lot longer then than it does now. Like now... Um, it's mostly just eating too much cause I don't really, ha if I don't have a large amount of sugar, um, like we were at, a, I was at a conference last week and I had, you know, a little Godiva thing that is not enough to make me dump. Um, but you have to be careful that uh, the amount that you have, that doesn't make you dump at once that it's not spread out like where there's 10 over an entire day. Um, because you're not dumping, but you're also like having a lot of sugar. <laughs> so for me, dumping is generally, it's almost always at night when I'm tired and I eat just a little too much. Um, so yeah, from like a small amount in dumping, that rarely happens to me. And that's mostly just because I stay away from like high sugar foods. Um, other things that she, that many me in Tennessee was saying was like cereal and things those aren't things that I eat so I might have that reaction I just I don't know um I don't really like cereal actually I don't like milk I like cereal just fine <laughs> but I don't like milk and also cereal is like way too expensive in my opinion for what it is um anyway boy this is just filled with tangents isn't it um I'll throw in one last tangent and then I'll go I'll let you go um eyeshadow and not this lipstick I actually didn't use it today the blush which is almost like worn out now this is all from the Mrs. West um Kim Kardashian West collection like her bridal collection which I thought was cute to have it like in June that actually might be her it might be based on her anniversary I don't remember um but yeah to, you know I don't I don't think it's intended to be like just bridal makeup because it's really not anything that special, um, as far as like lasting longer and that sort of thing. I mean, what do I know about bridal makeup? But um, the colors are really nice. It's a really nice palette of like pinks, and it's perfect for like spring and summer because it's like a light look, you know, compared to like maybe what you would expect from her. Um, because like her other collaborations have been, or not collaborations, her other like collections have been like really strong colors and things like that so I just thought it was interesting that you know her on her bridal day that she knew that like classic was the way to go and I don't know if everybody like expects that from a Kardashian but anyway I really like it I really like the colors so I did like the light pink all over and then here there's like a, a mauve like darker pink um, they're all like names based on like their marriage or something um, and then a brown, the brown one, like in the crease. So anyway, that's it. I'm not a makeup tutorial person. I can't do anything fancy, um, which is why I look for those types of palettes where, you know, maybe some days I might put a little bit more shimmer than another day, but generally it's going to look the same. So <laughs> this is like the longest video ever. So to wrap it up, down 1.8 pounds this week, down 66.8 pounds overall. And I'll see you next week, hopefully in a different decade.